Hello friends, today we're going to talk about a mono red cube draft deck. And this one I did not build. My friend Caleb drafted and built this and I just thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to share it. So we'll start off with the creatures here. We have Dragon's Rage Channeler, Inti Seneschal of the Sun, Cranko Ten Street Kingpin, Phyrexian Dragon Engine, Season Pyromancer, Squeed Dubious Monarch, Bone Crusher Giant, and I'm going to stop here for a minute and talk about Volatile Carmera. So, if you're not familiar with this card, this is from Conspiracy Take the Crown. Uh, Conspiracy was known for having Draft Matters cards. This in particular one, you could take three creatures that you drafted and set them aside at the beginning of the game. Uh, I think or more, yeah, three or more creatures, but ideally three creatures. Uh, and then once this is on the battlefield, you can pay two mana and choose a card at random that is in exile uh, because of this. And this becomes a copy of that card and gains this ability. So you can switch which of the three cards it is uh, randomly for two mana at instant speed, importantly. So uh, my friend managed to draft a Kozilek, Butcher of Truth, a Darksteel Colossus, and Emrakul the Aeon's Torn. And these were his three cards in exile with the Chimera. And uh, yes, he killed me with an Emrakul. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, this is a very powerful card. And if you get the right creatures, it is just insane. So, um, so yes, Volatile Chimera, very good card. Flame Tongue Kavu, Siege Gang Commander, Combustible Gearhulk. Then we have uh, Mistress Bauble. Urza's Bauble, and Gitaxian Probe, all of which help with the delirium you want uh, with uh, Dragon's Rage Channeler. And then we have Anduril, Flame of the West, Swiftfoot Boots, Chandra, Acolyte of Flame, and then we have Cast Into the Fire, Lightning Strike, Magma Jet, Rift Bolt, Fiery Confluence, and he had drafted Double Stroke from Conspiracy. Double Stroke is a hidden agenda, so this starts uh, the game face down in the command zone, and you name a card, so he had named Fiery Confluence. Then whenever you cast the named card, you can reveal this, and uh, this one says, if you cast an instant or sorcery with the chosen name, you may copy it and choose new targets for the copy. Well, the one game, I guess it'd be the second game he beat me, um, he cast this Fiery Confluence. All three modes he chose to deal two damage to each opponent. And then he copied it. So he spent four mana and dealt 12 damage to my face with a fiery confluence. That was pretty brutal. Uh, and then we have light up the stage as our final card. Uh, the land base, he played 17 lands, 14 of which were mountains. However, uh, he also ran scorched ruins, uh, strip mine, and because he had so many token makers, he ran a Gaia's Cradle in his mono red deck. And uh, yeah, he uh, he beat me pretty handedly with this deck, and uh, I, I uh, yeah, I was impressed with it. 